What is going on guys, Tiswava here, and welcome to Portal Reloaded. Now this is like a, a mod from Portal 2, where it's it's like a community made mod too, but it's like, it like builds upon the Portal formula. And if you guys don't know what Portal is, it's like a puzzle game where you have to think with portals and solve different puzzles using portals, which is crazy. So you're able to you know, travel through one portal and come out another portal and uh, solve puzzles that way, basically. And this, this game, this mod actually builds upon that, like I said, where it has not only two portals, but three different portals. So you can see up here, there's a blue portal and then there's an orange portal. Well, there's a green portal that's like kind of like a square. And appa apparently that's supposed to be like time travel or something like that. I don't know really what that's supposed to mean. I haven't looked too much into this. I've just seen the trailer and stuff like that. And I kind of got, got a little bit of a portal itch going on ever since this game uh, or mod or whatever you want to call it ever since this came out. So I kind of want to jump into it and see what this is all about. And uh, basically what we're going to be doing is playing like a 30 or 40 minute episode today and uh, just doing a bit of a pilot episode for Portal Reloaded. That way I can see, you know, is this a good fit for the channel? What do you guys think about this and whether I should turn it into a full on series? So if you guys enjoyed Portal Reloaded today, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below and by leaving a comment. And if I see a lot of really good comments and likes for this game, then I'll end up playing more of Portal Reloaded and we can make it a full on series here on the channel. But for right now, let's just jump into Portal Reloaded and let's see what this is all about. I don't know how many. Uh, oh, is this going to answer my thing already? Maps. I guess it is. Wait, there's only like 12 things, I guess. OK, 12 different maps or uh, oh, those are maps or those. How many puzzles are in each map, though? I don't know. <laughs> but either way, new game, continue playing. I haven't played this, so let's just do a new game here. And I guess we just jump right in and see what this is all about. And there's the half there, uh, or the Lambda logo or whatever right there, the Half-Life logo there. I don't know if you guys saw that in that little shadow. Hello, test subject. Four, five, zero, nine. You have been in stasis for 16 days and four decades. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, 16 days, eh, that's not too bad. Okay, four decades, okay, that's that's kind of worrying. Look at all these people around me, all these test subjects. Welcome to the Aperture Science Long-Term Human Storage Vault. You have been selected to take part in a very special testing course. Uh-oh. Well, hopefully I could pass this test, huh? <laughs> I don't know, there's someone in front of me who looks like they're about to go through the testing course. Hopefully they pass and don't end up getting hacked and killed. Federal regulations require us to inform you that the testing ahead may result in slight cases of sore throat or blurry vision or death. Oh no! I wouldn't want to have a sore throat. If you experience any of the aforementioned side effects, please do not hesitate to write them down in your test report. Oh, I guess we're going this way. Yeah, we just saw someone get sucked up into that uh, tube there a minute ago. I wonder if this one's going to be for us or if it's going to be that guy ahead of us. This vacuum tube will take you to your testing area. You will be further instructed there. Uh, yep, this one's for us. Good luck. Man, there's so many test subjects around here. Thank you very much, computer. Let's go to the testing chamber. I wonder if they have a treat at the end if we pass this test. Maybe a cake. Who knows? I guess we'll have to see. Oh, yep, there it is right there. The Lambda logo or like Black Mesa or Half-Life logo, whatever. Or maybe I'm just seeing things. I feel like that's intentionally put there. I don't know if you guys noticed that. <laughs> Still moving through the tubes here, getting to my test chamber. Hopefully I don't get hit by one of these cubes. Okay. Ooh. Each one of these big cubes over here is a test chamber. So much unused space over here though. Look at all this. Golly. Talk about inefficient space around here. Oh. I thought this might have been the test chamber, but no, not yet. Still moving through all this. Look at all this. I do not remember Aperture Labs being this huge. Oh, and we're here. Welcome to the Enrichment Center. These automated messages will guide you through your test today. The door in front of you is programmed to open in approximately 20 years. Uh, this test can be solved in two different ways. Option one, wait patiently. Option two, time travel to the future. Hey, the choice is yours. However, if you prefer time travel, the enrichment center will provide you the means to pursue that option. The time portal will open and testing will begin in three, two, one. Oh, oh, yeah. See, here it is right. Ooh. 
See, this is the green portal. This is the third portal I was mentioning in that intro. Sensors indicate that you have not yet stepped through the time portal. Yeah, I kind of think I'll just sit here and wait for 20 years and then wait for the door to open. You have still not traveled for time. Please enter the time portal. I don't know. I kind of want to just sit here and wait for the door to open on its own or... Okay, let's go to the future. Welcome to the future. Time traveling through portals will be an essential part of this testing course. In order to help you distinguish between the present and the future, this part of the Enrichment Center has been left untouched for the last 20 years. You may see some signs of decay. Don't worry, the Enrichment Center is designed to withstand centuries without proper maintenance. Doesn't seem like it's falling apart. Find a way to exit the chamber. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we can see this is where we have to go, and then boom, it's connected to the button right there. Okay, let's do it. How do I interact with this? Oh, there we go. Oh, it just opens this up. Okay. And we go back to the past, I guess? Welcome back to the present. If you are ever unsure which timeline you're in, simply observe your environment. The present should always look a bit cleaner than the future. Hmm. Is this going to open up now? I get I, uh... Oh, this is opened. Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. I was kind of confused. They're like, am I going to be turning that on? But no, yeah, we're back into the present now. This is that initial door that was closed during the 20 years or whatever. This is where the button opens 20 years in the future. Oh, man. The time traveling aspect is really getting trippy, you guys. Okay, well, here's the exit. I guess we passed phase one here. Test one. <laughs> so let's go through. Boom. That's just to make sure we don't bring any illegal items through here. This Aperture Science Test Subject Teleportation Device will dematerialize your body and rematerialize it in the next chamber. This process is absolutely safe. Usually. Uh, I don't, I don't really like the hesitation he did before he said usually there. <laughs> Either way, I guess we'll walk onto this, get teleported out of here. Or like deconstructed or whatever they said. Oh! Over here? Oh. It's just a loading screen. <laughs> okay. But we we passed the first test there. Can we pass all the tests here? All 12 of them, where it seems like. Or all 12. Well, there's 12 areas, but how many tests are in each area? 10? Who knows? These next chambers will involve cube and button based testing with the perks of time travel. Hmm. Okay. Let's go. Cube and button with time travel. How are we going to figure this out now? A cube placed in the present will appear in the same position in the future. Ooh. Ooh, there it is right there. Wait, hold on, how do I pick this up? There you go. Moving a cube in the present will automatically update the location of the same cube in the future. Then I can do it the same. This future version of the cube can be moved freely without affecting its counterpart in the present. It will stay wherever you leave it as long as the present cube's destiny is not altered in any way. Oh, that's interesting. So if I move the present cube anywhere, the future cube moves the same spot. But it's kind of like, it's, it's not like reflected like a mirror. It's kind of reflected like the other way. So if I wanted to move that and then it appears all the way over here, right? Yeah. Interesting. But I'm also able to move the future cube independently. So, okay. So what is the puzzle here? What am I trying to solve? Okay, there's the button. But if I, if I take this, it, it disintegrates if it goes through this field, I know. Oh, wait, okay. oh, oh, can I take it through the, uh, oh, I can. Ooh. Wait, hold on. Wait, how do I? Oh, I think I know. I think I know. Because this one controls both cubes. Take nice it over. Oh. But bringing a present cube to the future violates the laws of causality and is therefore impossible. Oh, man, I thought I had it there where I moved the... We basically switched sides. <sighs> okay, so there's that cube. But how do I... This is just going to get disintegrated, right? These material emancipation grills will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through them, including cubes. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. So how does this work? Can I put it here, then? No, that, yeah, that just puts it all the way back here, not where I needed to go there. So can I walk through? Yes, I can walk through this. 
Yeah, this uh, this opens up the exit. Hmm. Man, this is probably like the most obvious thing for you guys, but I am not figuring it out at all. You can tell it's been who knows how many years since I played Portal, right? <laughs> or even Portal 2. Man. So how do I get this over to there? I don't know. This is probably what the whole series would be. Oh, how do I... Oh, wait. Oh, there's... Oh, I didn't even see. There's, there's this over here, too. Wait, hold on. Wait, but then how do I... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Does this... Oh, my gosh. Yeah, okay, so in the present, the Emancipation Grill or whatever isn't here. It's all the way back here. So I can bypass that by going there and the Oh, my gosh. I didn't notice that. See, it takes a little... You have to kind of study the environment. Please continue to the next chamber. There we go. Okay. See, I'm, I'm, I'm slowly getting the hang of this. I'm slowly figuring this out here. Understanding the concept of cause and effect will be vital to solving the upcoming tests. All right. Simply put, everything you do in the present has an impact on the future, but not the other way around. Yeah, because time goes in like an arrow, only forwards, right? Something like that. So how do I do this? So this takes us to the present. We're in the future right now. There's a cube there. I need two cubes to activate that door. I can act. I can have one here. This one moves independently because it's the, the uh, future cube, but the present cube. Ooh, hold on, hold on. How does this work? It's the same thing here, but hold on. If I do this. And I can't take these portal these these cubes through the portal. Because I don't work that way, right? I can't take a cube to the future, can't take a cube from the future to the past or present, whatever. So how does that Maybe I should study the environment a little bit closer. Just like I said last time. And then of course I can stand here and that opens that up, but I can't go through the door if I'm standing on the button, right? Hmm. Let me look around. Is there uh no, there's no, nothing there. And then right here, it's just, yeah, it just goes to the exit. Now, which way am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to go into here? I don't know if I'm supposed to be going into that exit or this exit, honestly. Like, they both look like I'm supposed to go through them, obviously, all right, so. Huh. So in the present, I'm able to control both. Because the present cube is on a, a, a future. The present cube becomes the future cube, so it just kind of stays there, right? Yeah, so it's there now. So how in the world do I open this now? When I have only one cube, I can't take it through the portal. How do I do this? And, uh... Yeah, that Staying on this button only opens up this door. It doesn't, it doesn't have anything to do with that one. Oh, wait, maybe it does. Hold on. Maybe the opening the present one also opens up the future one. No. Yeah, they're completely independent of each other, yeah. Hmm. I am not getting this at all. I need to, like, walk around and study this. Figure something out. <laughs> I am I am definitely missing something. He did... He was probably... Oh, and then we got this camera looking at us, too. Watching us, seeing how we solve this. Man. Is there a camera here, too? Well, there is, but is it working? Yeah, it is. Hmm. I can't get another cube out of here, right? And I cannot take a cube from the future to the past or from the past to the future. Right? Wait, no, I can't. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Isn't this against what he just said, though? The time only moves like forwards or something like that? Or like it breaks causality or... Good thinking. While it is impossible to bring a present cube to the future... This clever trick allows you to have two versions of the same cube in one timeline. This will prove to be very useful in future chambers. Okay, yeah, I don't understand this at all. I can't take one, I can't take the present cube to the future, but I can take the future cube to the present? How does that work and it's not like illegal against the laws of physics or whatever? Man, I am not big brained enough for this. <laughs> All right, well, what was that test ch test chamber three or four right there? Oh, well, here's four. Oh. Button. Portal. 
big button connected to this elevator right here. So, same thing over here, right? Uh, essentially. Oh, and there's the cube. So how do I get the cube? Okay, yeah, there's a button there. That's what the button does. It activates the cube dispenser. Now, does that activate it in the future as well? It should, right? Yes, I see the cube all the way back there. So if I get this cube, that'll activate here. How does that work? And I can grab this cube from the past or whatever meme. Hold on. Wait, whoa, whoa. Grab it. There we go. I like those. Then I can, can't I just always just grab the cube and then just bring it back or something? There we go. Oh, wait. But if I move this, that moves this cube too. Ooh. Ooh. So how do I... Because look at this. If I want, if if I want that elevator to go up now to get bring that cube with me, it'll disappear. Yeah, because it, if if this cube moves, it also moves into the future, right? Yeah. See, there it is. Ooh. How am I going to solve this? And I can't get multiple cubes. I remember that from Portal and Portal Two. You can only get one cube, like that one. Yep, disintegrates, and then yeah, you can get another cube, but the old one dies. So. Ooh. So how would I do this? Because this is too far away. I can't just do this and then just back up and then... Uh, yeah, see, well... Uh, hmm. I don't know. Oh, wait. Hold on. I think I know. I think I know. We do this. There you go. Right? Something like this. Oh, wait. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm on to something here. Like, I'm like, oh, am I going to put the cube up? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I think I know. I think I know. Yeah, we can get the cube. Okay. From the future. Bring it back. I had it backwards there for a second. I think I had the right idea. I just had it backwards. The timelines or whatever else. <laughs> so, hold on. So, we got one cube here. This one we can put on the button. As long... Oh, wait. But then... Wait, what, 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 what happened right... Oh! Because the... <sighs> because that one moved... So I, I, I can't have this one on the elevator or else it'll technically move and then cause the other one to... Let's hold on. Yep! Wait, how do I... Oh man! Ah! So if this... If this... Makes that go down... It's probably so heckin' obvious to you guys. Is this going to be a hint here? No, it just says... You know, watch out for dispensing cubes. You put the cubes on buttons and make sure you don't get hit in the heckin' head with a cube. And that's it. I don't know. Hold on. I... I don't know if I'm on to something here. Like, obviously, it has something to do with dispensing a cube in the future because it doesn't move, right? Maybe. Like, can I... Can I... Can I get unlimited cubes if I... If I keep dispensing them? Because that cube is now in the present... Is this a whole nother cube? Is this something? No, okay, yeah, the one... Okay, I can't just get unlimited cubes out of way. Uh, so how in the world do I do this, then? Oh, there you go, they're both right there. Now, what happens... If I do this? Yep. Oh, no, 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 no! No! Ah! Oh, thought we'd have a little bit of time there to head... You could probably do that, to be quite honest. You probably could. Hmm. Actually, 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 actually. I think I... I think that's it. I think that's it. I... Is this... This might be the most obvious thing. I don't know if I'm going to cut out any of this footage, but I think this is it. Boom. Oh my gosh. Why did I take that long to figure that out? I might just leave all that footage in. The trial and error is kind of... That, that, that's the fun of it, right? Always remember, if you change the destiny of an object in the present, the future version of that object will be affected as well. Of course. If this sounds too complicated, you're in luck. The next chamber will only heavily rely <laughs> on your understanding of this very basic concept. I'm like, you have to understand how time works for that to work, right? 
if you move one in the present, of course, it moves in the future, but it's kind of weird when you go the other way around where you move one from the future to the present. It's kind of a weird thing. Speaking of such, we're in the future now. Guess we'll dispense a cube here. It should dispense both, right? So there you go. So we're in the future right now. Are these both identical? These, these both have buttons, right? Wait, how's this work? Ooh, this is where I can pass the cube to myself. That's kind of what we did just a moment ago, wasn't it? So wait, what, what is this? Ooh, staircase. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay, hold on. No cube here, actually. What in the world? Oh, wait, hold on. I think I know. I think I know. We need to grab this cube. See, this one fell and it's kind of slope, but this one's still straight. So we need to use this cube to kind of prop ourselves up in the present, which is such a weird... This time aspect is... It, I, I know it's kind of a, it's kind of a little bit of a pun, but it really does add a whole dimension to these puzzles here. <laughs> you know, the dimension of time and whatnot. Oh, and that one just fell out of there. Okay, well, whatever. We have the we have the one in the present, which is all that really I can matters. So there you go. So we've got the stairs there. Um, does that even matter? Do we even need that? Because I, I feel like, isn't this like basically what we just did? Like we just did this in the last one is just kind of a little bit, a li little tweaked from what we just did, right? We just play heckin' musical time cubes, go back and forth, and then once I move that one over there, this one will disintegrate. There you go. So I could do this. Don't, don't touch that one or else that one will deactivate these stairs, obviously, but from here I should be able to grab this. Oh, yep. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, see, it's like the same thing we just did. Just a, just a little bit different, but the same concept. Good. By now, you hopefully understand the concept of cause and effect and how cubes behave in different timelines. Now, let's move on to something more interesting. Ooh, what do we do? What do we add now? So now we know how cubes work with the time portal and all that stuff. What, else, what are they going to introduce to us now? And now for the moment you've been waiting for. Aperture Science proudly presents the Triple Portal Device. Oh, we got it! This marvelous device will allow you to place three different portals. For now, however, to introduce you to the concept of portals in different timelines, the time portals will be placed for you. Well, what do I look like in this? I'm not shell, I have different feet. I have those weird, like, jumping feet that, like, absorb balls and whatnot. Yeah, who is that? I don't know. So how do I use the uh, the third portal? He might have just said it right there, and I was so distracted by the heckin' portals and whatnot. Here we go, here we go. We have to, we had to, it's just a classic meme. Oh, that's what I look like. Wait, what? Wait, how, hold on. I want to get a better angle of myself. What does this look like? Ew. Oh, wait, what in the world? Oh, yeah, we do have the portal fees. They just look kind of weird in that one thing. And, oh, jeez. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my gosh, it's a trippy. Not as trippy as this is going to be. Uh oh, 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 oh! Oh wait! Oh, we hit the edge. Come on! Oh my gosh! <laughs> you kind of have to do this every time you play Portal. You have to, you have to play with the portal. Oh no! You have to play with the portals like that. Okay, so how to get up there? Blah 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 blah. blah. We already know. Easy, right? Boom! We're up here. Nice. All right, but I still don't know how to use the green portal for this one. It's probably going to tell me in this next room, huh? Oh yep. Yeah, oh yeah. See, that's like a that's like a permanent green portal. How do I do that? How do I use that? How do I how do I get to the future to use that? He might have just heckin' told me, and I was not paying any attention. <laughs> I would not be. Oh hey, look at this. This is what we look like now. Oh, I can't see my. I just want to get a face reveal myself. Hey, look at this. Hey, get back here. Get back here. Chasing after myself. <laughs> this is so trippy. <laughs> Jeez, okay, forget that then. Yeah, how do I, how do I... Oh, I can see the future there. But how do I get over there now? Oh, I think I know. We shoot it through the time. Oh, wait, yeah, we can't shoot portals through portals, right? If I remember correctly. Yeah, so we can't go to the heckin' future, obviously. Because we can't shoot a portal through a portal. Yeah, oh wait, yeah, I'm stupid. There's a heckin' roof right there, I'm dumb. 
<laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, here we go. Here we are. <laughs> Golly. A portal placed in the present will appear on the same surface in the future. That took way too long for me to I can figure out right there. Golly. I'm like, I already knew this was like a permanent portal that I can't use a heckin' gun for because it's got this. But there you go. So those are over there now. So if a portal is in the past, it's going to be the same in the future, but how does that work the other way around? Is that... Hmm. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I can put the blue one... Oh no, that's the orange one. Man, and you can't... Yeah, you can't shoot through those little, little things there. Oh wait, yeah, see, look at that. That changed. Wait a minute. Um... Wait, hold, hold the phone. Wait. If I put that there and this there. Those are in the same spots, right? Yeah. Okay. Because you have to do it in the past for it to appear in the present or the future. Golly, this time. Time stuff is so confusing sometimes. A portal placed in the future will not override its existing location in the present. Yeah, see that one's still on the other side. That one, that one's still right there in the present. But well, the one in the future only applies in, in in the future of the future. It's so hard to try and explain. You need to have like a hundred billion IQ to understand it. Good. Thinking in four dimensions means not only knowing where to place your portals, but also when. Hmm. I like that aspect. Uh oh. Uh oh. I thought there was going to be like writings, like phrased writings on the wall there. Is that really what you, yeah, that is what you spoke, wait, yeah, hold on. Now that's there intentionally. Like I'm able to, wait, oh. Oh, am I able to do the third, yeah, I can't do the time portal right now. Oh, look at the arrow, look at the heckin' arrow. Boom. Oh my gosh. I thought this was like accidental or something like that. Okay, so we're up here now. There's the exit, I think, right? We're in the, we're in the future right now. Time portal only. Okay, so you can only place time portal specific- Oh, jeez! Please ignore that. The decay of this facility over the past 20 years may have caused the destruction of some portal surfaces. Try to find a way around this. Uh-oh. So, what that sounds like is that some portal surfaces- I still can't do, uh, oh, you have to activate it with this one. You still can't activate it with a gun, right? Yeah. Sounds like some portal surfaces exist in the present, which is this, but some of them in the future got decayed and no longer exist. So if I placed it in the present, it's not going to be in the future because that doesn't exist anymore, right? Ooh. So, and it can't go through glass. I think that's what this is. Right, right, right. Yeah, it can't go through glass. Time portal only, so I can... So that's going to be there all the time, right? Oh, yeah, see, so look at that. No, it's not there anymore in the future. So I can't just skip to the end there. So how do I get over there? Oh, wait, no. Oh, hold on. I was looking at the wrong one, wasn't I? Oh, I'm so confused because of the way this is, like, rotated and stuff. This way. There you go. I need to go that way. So that portal's still there, right? Yeah, see, there it is right there. Okay. So. Is this going to work? Yes. Okay, time portal only. Activated, nice. So now we're on the other side of this in the present. Now we can go there. Oh, that's the yeah, that's where the glass is. Man. So hold on. This is the present. So this is the future now. Yes. So if I want to have a portal appear, it's the time, man. I can't shoot, I can't shoot through, oh wait, oh, 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 up there, that's how I get back there now, okay. Yes. So I've got this time portal open now, we got white, what, what's the point of coming over here actually now I think about it? I do not know. Yeah, how do I get over there now? Oh, I need to go over there in the past, which means, hold on, oh, this time, oh, you can only have one time portal open at a time. That was a crazy pun right there, by the way. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, man, that was the blue one. Whoops. Oh, man. Now oh, we had something there for a second. Hold on. We had some progress there. Wait, are all those ones at the very end? Those are all broken, right? Yeah, all of those are broken. So you can't, you can't go back there at all. 
you won't, you could only go back there in the in the present where it's actually usable, right? Yeah. Hmm. So that means we need to use a. So we need to keep we need to keep a portal here. Keep the no, keep the orange. Let's let's do the orange. Keep the orange there. Blue there. Yes, I think. But we could change the portals in the future. Which means... How do I get over there this time? Okay, I think I know. Here we go. I think I, I, think I have it. I, I have it in my head. I don't know if it's going to actually work, you guys. So there we go. There's blue. We need to put orange back up there, right? Wait, hold on. How does this... How am I doing this? I'm trying to think. Because we need to go to the past to... Wait a minute. Oh, I think I... I th oh! It worked! I think, right? This is the end. Yeah, this is the end, but... Um... Oh! Nice oh! Note. Take note. Because time portals exist in exactly the same location in both timelines, they can only be placed on surfaces which are intact in both the present and the future. Yeah, okay. I thought the... I didn't see the glass on the one in the present right there, because I guess we're so far away it didn't render in, so I thought that you waited to do in the present, but I was still I, I was still onto something there. We still solved it. So that's good. Most of that I was figuring out in my head, too, by the way. Like, I wasn't even really seeing, like, what I was thinking out loud. I was just like, oh, is this gonna... Uh, what do I do uh, <laughs> the whole time? Number eight already. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how many levels there actually are. This next chamber will involve the concept of momentum-based traveling through portals. You go in fast, you come out fast. Simple enough. Ooh, one of my favorite things about portals, the momentum stuff. And I am already seeing some hints here. We're going to go through this. Yep. Boom. Look at that. Yeah. So same thing here. Blue here, right? Yes. Blue there, and then... I think that's how I'm supposed to go, right? There's not one here. No. There is a time thing there. I don't know if I have to do anything with it, but, uh... Yep. It's going to work. Oh, that didn't work. Man. Wait, yeah, where am I going, by the way? I need to figure out where I'm going. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, I, ne I need I need to go to the past or present or whatever you'd want to call it. We need, we need to experiment with this. Yeah, we don't want to forget about the dimension of time, which... Speaking of time, I don't think we have that much time left in this video to try and figure this out. We might have to save this for, like, if I turn this into a full-on series, you guys. And you know what? This might actually be a, a good puzzle to come back to if we do end up green lighting this series and, and playing more of this on the channel. Yeah, we can come back, we can play this, we can try and figure out this puzzle right here. And that'd be a pretty good one to come back to, now that I think about it, yeah. So you know what? I guess we could end off this pilot episode right here. Really good spot to leave off, like I just mentioned, so... If you guys enjoyed Portal Reloaded, is that what it's called, by the way? I, th I think it's called Portal Reloaded, something like that. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed Portal Reloaded, be sure to let me know in the likes and uh, by leaving a positive comment down below as well. Because if I see a lot of likes, if I see a lot of positive comments for Portal Reloaded, that would definitely make it more likely that I'll turn this into a series and I'll play more of it on the channel. Uh, like I said, I don't know how long this actually is. It might just be like 10 like levels in general and there's only like one episode left after this. Because we're on like puzzle 8 right now. There may be only like 10 Oh wait, no, no, no! 25 puzzles! Okay, so there's a lot! There is a significant amount of puzzles here, and of course it's going to get harder and harder the longer we, uh, the deeper into the puzzles we get, so it's going to take even more time to try and figure those out, right? So, it may not just be like two or three more episodes after this, it might be like five to ten more, depending on how I can slow I am to figure out these puzzles and whatnot, but yeah. If you guys have enjoyed Portal Reloaded, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below, and if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell, because next time we Touching come back- the material oh. emancipation grills will cause any ordinary portal to fizzle. Time portals are not affected. Ooh. Yeah, okay, so it looks like my portals I placed down are- If a portal closes in the present, it will also close in the future. So think about where and when to pass through them. Oh, this is such an interesting thing. Ooh, and if I go through this, it cancels this out. I don't know where I was in my outro, but, uh... There you go, so now we have that activated now. <laughs> so this is activated here in the future, which is great. 
I don't know. I, I need to stop figuring this out while I'm doing the outro and leaving <laughs> leaving this video off for you guys. So you guys know the drill. If you guys like it, be sure to hit the like button. If you guys don't like it, if you guys like uh, Stardew Valley or maybe Subnautica Below Zero or maybe uh, Valheim, if you guys like those games a little bit better, be sure to let me know in the comments down below because I want to compare everyone's input on all these games that we played. We played about five of them now. So after this video, I'm going to go back and, and tally up all the likes, read through all the thousands of comments for the past like five pilot episodes and I'll make a determination from there which game we're going to be turning into a full-on series here on the channel so definitely stay tuned for that so is it going to be Portal Reloaded is it going to be Valheim is it going to be something else that I'm going to be playing here on the channel I guess you guys will just have to wait and see so like I said be sure to let me know if you guys enjoy this game in the comments and likes down below and I'll see you guys here next time with some more awesome videos and maybe even some more Portal Reloaded but until then thank you guys all very much for watching and I'll see you guys here next time. Oh, bye there. Whoa.